All right, so let's assume you open up your Illustrator workspace and you open a given file. This is what you might see. So just gonna go over the interface with you. If you look at the top, this is your menu bar. It works just like any other menu bar that you might use in any program. You click, you see the drop down. These are different features that you can use in Illustrator. On the left-hand side, you'll see your tools panel. This has all the different tools that you're gonna to use to interact with what you're creating on your workspace. So I'm gonna go down to the bottom. One thing here is that sometimes you don't see all of your tools. If you click this ellipses in the bottom corner to edit the toolbar, you can check to make sure you're on advanced. If you ever flip to basic, just make sure you go click advanced and then all of your tools will be reappearing. So we have our menu bar, we have our tools panel. A couple of the big tools that you're gonna use when you first start out are the selection tool and the direct selection tool. It looks pretty similar, but they have different functions. Your selection tool, you're gonna to use just to move things around. This is just like your moving tool. Now the direct selection tool is different because this is really what lets you do the editing in Illustrator. So if I double click this anchor point, see I can pull it out. I can actually manipulate what I'm creating here. So that's between your selection tool and your direct selection tool. Now moving over on the top, we have our workspace chooser. If you click the drop down, you'll see all the different types of workspaces that you can use in Illustrator. You can also create your own workspace. If you decide you like a new flow, you can do that here. Essentials is the default workspace for Illustrator. Honestly, I usually just keep mine in Essentials for clarity, but you can choose a different one if you decide you like a different flow. Moving to the right side of the screen, you'll see your panels. So we have your properties panels, your main one you're gonna to wanna to look at all the time. We have your layers panel and libraries. Those are the default ones that are showing up. If you don't ever see a panel, you can go to window and all of the panel options are in under window for to click and open up right here. So one thing about the properties panel that I want to show you is that if I click using different tools, my properties panel will change. So let's say I click with my selection tool. Now you see this is text over here. Now I have these text options showing. If I use my pen tool and draw a line, now I see pen tool options. So based on the tool that you choose, your properties panel is going to change. So just to review, we have our menu bar, our tools panel with our selection tool, direct selection tool. We have our layers panel. We have our workspace up here. And then down at the bottom, we also have a status bar. Your status bar, the big thing I use the status bar for is to see how far I'm zoomed in. So right now you can see I'm at 78% zoomed in. And you can change with this how far you actually want to zoom in or how far you want to zoom out. That's your big thing that your status bar is used for. This white space is called an artboard. So your artboard is kind of like the piece of paper sitting on your desk. This is what you want to do, where you want to create. And then out on the side is like your desk space. This is where you're throwing your extra stuff. So you see I have a, my swatches over here. This is the different palette that I wanted to use for this design. Anything that you're kind of messing with, but you're not sure about, you can throw it out there in the pasteboard. And that's a pretty common workflow. So your artboard, your pasteboard, this is your whole workspace. The whole area here is considered your workspace. And that's about it. That's how you can navigate the Illustrator workspace, Illustrator interface.